In Purple Mash, you can set tasks for pupils. These are called to-dos. When you click on an app, you are given the option to launch the app or set a to-do. If you know the app you're selecting is what you want your pupils to do, then you can click on Set as a to-do. In here, you can edit the title and the description and add audio instructions if you wish. If you click on Click here to set objectives, you can choose an area from the curriculum that you'd like to tag this work with. I'm going to select Computing, Computer Science and Create and Debug Simple Programs. OK. I can add more objectives here or I can click Save if I'm happy. You have also got the option to enter a tag. I'm going to click on Next. In this section you can set a date and a hand-in date. These are the dates between which your to-do will appear for the children. You are also able to restrict access to be done at school, at home or any time, and repeat a to-do if you wish. When I click Next, I can then select a class, individual or group to set that to-do for. I'm going to set that to-do for Ren's class, and I'm going to click on Set To-Do. Once the to-do has been set, it will appear in my to-dos area. I can access the to-dos area by clicking on to-dos at the top. I'm going to set a couple more to-dos in Purple Mash, but this time I'm going to edit the resource before I set the to-do. In To Go, I can do this by launching the app, selecting a background, and then clicking on the settings cogwheel at the top. Here, I can change the keypad, and under the general tab, I can turn programming on and reduce the step length. On the right, I'm going to change the view so that the children need to drag across the instructions. I'm going to put the first instruction in for them. Now this is set up exactly how I want the children to access it. Towards the top left here, I can click on the menu icon. I'm then going to click on share. This will prompt me to save my work. Once I have saved, I am able to set this as a to-do, and I go through the same process as I went through previously to set the to-do. This is one of the writing frames in Purple Mash. At the top of any writing frame, you'll see a teacher's hat icon. This will put the writing frame into teacher mode. There's a short explanation about what happens in teacher mode, and when you click on OK, you'll see edit pens next to all of the support. At the top, you'll also see a cogwheel. In here, you can choose to have a word bin, a clip art bin, add a checklist. There's lots of different options in here to help you set up your writing frames. When you are happy with your writing frame and you want to set your version as a to-do, turn the teacher's hat off and then go to the menu button on the left and click on share and set a to-do in the same way as I did previously. You can also edit any of our quizzes by clicking on play and then at the top clicking on stop and popping the quiz into edit mode. You'll see the questions along the bottom and on the right you'll see an area where you can add a question, clone a question or delete a question. Once you have edited the quiz, you click on the menu and click on share to set the to-do. You'll see the to-dos you have set in the to-dos area at the top. In order to see what the children see, you can go to admin and impersonate a pupil login. Here you choose a pupil and click on Impersonate Pupil at the bottom. You'll now see Purple Mash from the pupil's perspective. This pupil in Wren's class has got three alerts. These alerts tell her she's got three to-dos, and she can click on Go To to go straight to the work. Alternatively, she can go to To-dos and see the to-do she has got set. This first one I set will take her straight into To Go. The second one will take her into To Go with the edits I made, so she can see my first instruction and continue to input her own instructions. When pupils use to-dos to access work, they can go to the menu and click on save at any time. The work will save under their name and they don't have to enter a file name or choose where to put it. This last one will take us to a quiz. This is the edited quiz and I've got multiple choice questions to answer. When pupils have finished their work, they can click on hand in and add a note for their teacher. They can also use the record button to record a note. You can revert back to your teacher login by clicking go back to user at the top here. Now that you are back in your teacher login, you can see an alert here to tell you what to do has been handed in. Here you can click on go to and it will take you straight to their work. Alternatively, you can go to the to do's area where you'll see various buttons to help you. Next to the fly to the flowers to do, we've got a view folder button. 
and under computing quiz we've got both view folder and view scores. The view scores button under a quiz will take me to an area where I can see which children have completed the quiz and their score and accuracy. If I click on the plus here I can see which questions the children got correct and which they got incorrect. If I click on view folder next to fly to the flowers I'm taken to a folder with all the children's work in. You'll see it is clear which child did which piece of work. On the left you'll see that folder is named and dated and it sits within a to-dos folder within your class folder in the work area. It is clear to see which pieces of work have been handed in and which pieces of work haven't. If you select a piece of work and click on mark across the top then you'll see the preview of the work on the left hand side and an area on the right that you can use to mark it. In here you can add a comment, you can add a reward and if you click next to judgments you'll be able to see the objective that you tag this work with and apply a judgment to it. When you have marked the piece of work, you can click on Save and Next and it will load up the next child's work. When pupils hand a to-do in, they cannot edit the work anymore. If you put instructions for further work into the teacher comment box, you need to be able to give them the opportunity to continue the work. You do this by hitting the Save and Redo button underneath the comment box. When you have finished marking, click on the cross to the top right to return to the work folder. In this area here, if you would like to add the same comment, judgment or reward to multiple pieces of work, click on one, hold down control and click on the others you would like to select. And then at the top, click on comment to add a comment. Click on one of the judgments to add a judgment. And click in the rewards area to add a reward. Any communication you and the pupil have over a piece of work done via a to-do will appear in their to-dos area. At the top, if you add a reward, it will appear as a trophy and the children will be able to click to reveal their reward. You can also create a PDF of all the children's work by selecting them all and then clicking on print files at the top. Here you have the option to include comments and file details and then you can click on print to generate your PDF. Once you have started to enter judgments into Purple Mash, you can use the data button at the top to explore your curriculum coverage. Here I can expand judgments and computing and year one and click on computer science to see the coverage of that area. When you have finished using a to-do, it is important to close it. In the to-dos area here, under each to-do, you'll notice a close button. When you click on that, you'll be asked to choose a close action. Would you like to copy the to-do work files back to the pupil folders? This close action will leave your to-do folder here in the to-dos area within your class folder. But it will also distribute copies of the work to Angela's, Daniel's, Corey's and Ashley's own My Work folders. Other close actions include moving the to-do work files to pupil folders and deleting the folder associated with this to-do. You can also choose to leave the to-do work files and folder in the to-dos area in your class folder. However, this won't give the pupils back a copy of their work in their own My Work folders. The fourth option, Delete To Do Work Files and Folder, will delete everything associated with this to-do. This includes any judgments, rewards, comments and work. If you are marking within the work area, you may find it easier to click on Close To Do from here. In the To-Dos area, you will see all the to-dos for the classes that you are assigned to. So if you are assigned to multiple classes, for example you have multiple classes in your year group and you are assigned to the other teachers' classes, please be careful not to delete other teachers' to-dos.